Hey everyone, this is Angel for Epic's Gaming with a brand new video for Super Mario RPG. For more videos of the game, be sure to check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. One of the final sets of challenges before the final battle in Bowser's Castle includes a series of numbered doors that face you against two action courses, two battle courses, and two puzzle courses. You must pass four out of the six courses to move forward in the story, but I've completed all six of them so you can watch them all and pick which is best for you by jumping to the timestamps on screen. Each of them has a certain degree of difficulty, but I would recommend you start with both doors that lead to the battle courses. Remember that the order of the doors is random, so the door I select might not be the same for you. For you to be well prepared, I'll show you up the next 12 groups of enemies that lie ahead on each battle course. At the end of the first curse that you complete, the reward will be a Drill Claw for Bowser. At the end of the second curse that you complete, the reward will be a star gun for Gino. Moving on to the action curses. These are pretty much self-explanatory, so without further ado, here's the gameplay for each curse. At the end of the third curse you complete, the reward will be the Super Slab for Peach.
and at the end of the fourth course you complete, the reward will be the Sonic Symbols for Mallow. Finally, the puzzle courses. These are the worst and you should avoid them at all costs, but let's explain each puzzle so you have a better understanding of how you can solve them. For the coin chest puzzle, all you need to do is to alternate with the doctor and make him pick the last out of the 21 coins that are in the chest. Just keep count on how many coins have been taken and stop at number 20. So the doctor takes the last one and you win. The bottom pressing puzzle is honestly the safest to try to solve on your own because there's no way you can lose unless you rage quit. I would like to say that I came up with a strategy but I just jumped on top of the bottoms until everything was clear. Just remember the reverse effect will apply to the bottoms to the front, back and left and right side of the one you land on, not all the 8 surrounding bottoms. That was a big mistake on my part. So here's the gameplay for this challenge. Now for the ball solitaire, things are a little bit more delicate because you can lose. The key here is to plan your movements so that you never leave alone a cannonball too far away that you can't clear later. Here is the solution I found for this one. Follow step by step. At the end of the fifth curse you complete, the reward will be a rock candy. Finally, the second puzzle curse, which is the worst of them all, beginning with a set of random questions about the game. There are a lot of questions that you'll need to memorize until you get this right, but in case you want to cheat, here are all the 29 correct answers I could get during all the attempts at this puzzle.
Next in line is the barrel counting puzzle and I have some bad news for you. There's no way to cheat here because these will be random, but I'll teach you a simple way to count. For the first stage, you'll have a small stack. This one is very simple. Focus on the complete rows of barrels. Each has three barrels. In this example, that makes four complete rows. Four times three equals 12. Now, let's add the remaining three barrels for a total of 15. For the big stack, don't panic, we're going to use the same method, but in a different scale. Each complete row has four barrels, and here we have eight complete rows, so that's four times eight, 32. There's a row with three barrels that can be mentally completed to another row of four with this lonely barrel right here. With this, the total comes up to 36 barrels. Finally, let's add the remaining eight barrels for a total of 44 barrels. Let's go to the last challenge, the triathlon. And for this, I have more bad news for you. The characters and their standings are random. Each time you try it, they will change the thing that they are saying to you, which affects their standings. So just take this as an example and substitute the actual standings with the character's dialogue that matches your gameplay. The first thing that you need to have in mind is that the triathlon has a sequence, starting with the swimming leg of the competition, followed by the cycling, and lastly, the marathon, which results in the final standings. Here's how this worked out in my case. Boo outdid Kip both on the bike and the final rankings. So, Boo is definitely not fourth place, and Kip is not first place. Kip fell into fourth place during the bike race, but ended up in the same place as in the swimming event. That means that Kip's placement is either second or third because he had beaten by Boo but did better than how he ranked during cycling. Now let's go with Bones. He came third in swimming and never did better than that, so Bones was definitely third in the cycling competition because Kip was fourth, and that makes Bones either third or fourth in the marathon because he never climbed the ranks beyond third. Finally, Gu plays the same for swimming and cycling, but two others beat him during the marathon. Now, we know that Gu is for sure ranked third place during the marathon because only two others beat him. With all this data, everything points out that Boo is first place. This is useful because we know he outdid Kip in the final rankings, so that makes Kip second. And as Bones never did better than the first place after the swimming competition, he is the last one to arrive at the marathon. When you're ready to give the answer, just talk to them in order from first to last, and you should be clear. At the end of the six curves you complete, the reward will also be a rock candy. And that's it, you're ready to move on with the story. Be sure to check out more Super Mario RPG videos that I will be uploading to his playlist right here as I progress for the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.